of history, another day, another field, hopefully we'll find something. And I'm with my mate Kev. So with a bit of luck, we're going to pull some, some silver out, some coins out, whichever it is, we'll show you later. Isn't that right, Kev? Yeah, definitely. We'll, we'll definitely yeah. find something. Oh, definitely. Right. Talk to you later. Bye. In the tranquility of Lancashire countryside, we're going to join the sheep. And that sheep is protesting already. There's other parts missing, I think. So he, he's come up with something that looks like a cat wheel penny. He's probably George III, but it's something that we have to investigate because it's not quite the shape of a cat wheel penny. So I think it's George III, though. But let's investigate and report later. And team. Straight down, 17. Oh, look at that, straight away. George III. George III, half penny. Cracking signal that. Oh yeah, well we'll better dig that. Dig it. Uh, something completely different there. Wow, I don't know what that is. That's interesting. Oh, yeah. Uh, George III something. Oh, wow, I'm not quite sure what that is. George III. <laughs> uh, Thripney Bit, George VI. Uh, Thripney Bit, George VI, I think. A two pound coin there. <laughs> two pound. A two pound better off. <laughs> Twenty five. Nineteenth century buckle. Not an old one. I think Kev's got a 26 here, which is always a good number on the Equinox. Is it in the head or is it down? So I'm going to get to find out. Is it down, Kev, yeah? Is it in there, you reckon? Down the hole. But we have to dig. It's round here. As uh, a Georgia third half penny, nice one as well. It's in good nick, that. Is it? Yeah. So you're visible at least. Twenty six. I've got one of those token ones. A one of those, I think, uh, penny tokens. 
I think. Anyway, uh, investigate that one. Back in there. So I better clean that up. Yeah. And it's George the second, or even George the first. Half by now. George, George the third is a little bit thicker than that. Uh, it's uh, 1963 Penny of uh, Elizabeth II. Uh, doing very well, is Kevin. He's found a crotal bell, full, fully intact. No, it's medieval, more than likely medieval. Crotal bell for the use of. Very good, brilliant. It's showing the age of this land, isn't it, Ke isn't yeah. it Kev? Oh, yeah. Yeah, exciting, exciting time. On this land. There's treasure on the land somewhere, we've just got to find it. <laughs> 17. Oh, so part of a pewter spoon handle. Oh, I think it's 34 here. It's a blue glazed pottery, I think it's Victorian. And a bit more. Expensive, uh, yeah, there you go. It's a ring, probably oh, second, second world war ring. That grass. Second world war. Victoria. Half penny, I think. Yeah, Victoria half penny. That was frigging deep. Was it? Yeah. And 17th century buckle. Probably a shoe buckle. That were deep. Right up there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've got it now. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Uh, three pence, silver. Uh, Victoria. Uh, Kev's got. Excellent with the old head. Perfect. Well done, mate. Another George and Penny. Oh, and Kev comes up with a nice silver pendant. Uh, not so clean in, but I think that's uh, definitely silver, and uh, uh, we're not sure on the age, but we think it's probably Victorian or George III. But nice, very nice. Jolly good. Some silver in here, pal. Brilliant. I'll bet you're happy. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, all right.